This year has been full of changes. I pretty much had to restart my life and move my entire apiary to a new location just as the leaves were beginning to fall. This is not the ideal time to move as it is crucial that each hive doesn't lose any of their bees so that they are prepared for winter. So as I went through each colony to ensure that all queens were intact after the move, I also tested for mites. In doing this, I realized that my mite load was through the roof. Even after treating with Formic at the end of July and also treating with Apivar in August, so now the question is, will I be able to get my mite count down in time for the bees to be strong enough for winter? Let's hope, but stick around and you'll find out. Welcome back. Today I have a shiny new toy that I want to show you guys and that is an oxalic acid vaporizer. I'm going to be treating all of my hives today. I've already treated them once. So this will be round two of using oxalic acid to hopefully kill all of the high mite numbers that I have right now. This is a homemade version of the ProVape vaporizer um that one of you guys that follows the channel made um it is absolutely amazing i am amazed how quick this actually works and it's absolutely great so if you haven't gotten one you definitely need a vaporizer like this because these things work so jeff i know you said you didn't want a shout out but this thing you made is absolutely awesome so i have to give you one thank you so much so as you can see, the conditions are definitely not ideal today to be doing an oxalic acid vaporizing treatment. Um, I'm going to try to make sure that the vaporizer stays as dry as possible. And yeah, I'm just going to run through these hives as quickly as possible. Last time it took me um, just about an hour to do all 33 of my hives. So let's see if I can do it in that time again. So the reason why I'm doing oxalic acid is it is one of the treatments that is the least harsh on the bees. Um, and it really doesn't negatively impact them at all. So it's definitely the like one of the number one mite treatments that you can use to help kill mites. And also this time of year, it's absolutely perfect because it doesn't have to be a certain temperature in order for you to use it. Um, the only downside is you do have to do multiple rounds of it because it doesn't kill any of the mites that are in the cell. It only kills mites that are on the bee, so the phoretic mites. So, like I said, today is round two. I'm doing, um, I'm probably going to be doing around five rounds of treatment spaced out uh, five to seven days in between each treatment. That's my plan. Um, you should really be pushing for five days, but, you know, life happens sometimes. So, today's the seventh day. So, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> But I have my wood bleach or oxalic acid. Um, these are crystals, I believe. You can get it in a powdered form as well. That one is quicker. But this is just one that I have on hand right now. So we're gonna be using this. And then it also comes with some caps that I can fill up. So that way they are ready to go um, right when I need them. You'll see the whole entire process. Also, because it's winter time, I have all of these insulation foam squares cut out that I just did. All I did was go to Lowe's and get myself a big huge sheet of insulation foam and I measured them out and cut them individually for each hive and I'm just going to stick these underneath each cover. That way it blocks any of the cold and the hot, um, so the cold on the top of the lid and the hot from inside the hive from the bees from clashing and, and creating condensation. Um, this is pretty much what I do for winter time is I just stick some insulation foam in there. Um, this is going to be my first year actually putting like a candy board situation too because my colonies are a little light. So I will be doing that, but yeah. So this is the kind of vaporizer that has a plug-in cord. And the big factor with this is you need to have a generator that puts out enough power to handle this. Um, so I had a little adapter that I plugged into my car. Um, it was one of these, a power inverter, but it did not have enough juice. Um, 
as you can see it says 400 watts for peaking power so it kind of like fluctuated so it didn't really work so what i ended up doing luckily i am close enough to the house so i can just plug it in down there run a very long extension cord up to me a couple extension cords actually and yeah just plug it into there so let's get started so each one of these little cups holds about three grams um so i have five of these little cups and what i like to do is i'll fill every single one of them up um i'll fill them up to the top and then i'm gonna place one on each hive so that i can go from hive to hive hives I have a little hole drill, drilled in the back um, this one particularly I did in the bottom board um, but this is so I can stick this end into the hive um, when I'm gassing it but also something I thought about that is very convenient if you drill this hole perfectly in line um, with the very with the, the bottom of the hive then in the winter time, um, if you don't have your hive perfectly slanted so that all of the water runs out the front, because what's going to happen is when you have snow that builds up on the bottom board, when that melts, it's going to flow wherever gravity pulls it. So if your hive is kind of slanted so that it's kind of like tipping back, all that water is going to flow to the back of your hive and you're going to have a pool of water on your bottom board so that is why i also put this hole in the corner um because of the slant of this hive so that way all of the water ends up running out this hole if any accumulates all right now we're up to we're supposed to get to 450 we're up to 477 which is good now all we do is we just tip this upside down you do this Put it in the hole, flip upside down, see how the temp is dropping? That is because the OA in the cap is now dropping down. Um, because I'm using crystals, sometimes it doesn't always all drop down, so that's why I am making sure it all comes down off the cap. Um, but then you just wait until this comes back up to 450 degrees and then it's all done okay that's looking pretty good now all we do is we just flip this take it out and then i need my other hand but then you just take this cap off okay it is really coming down right now <laughs> and a bee just stung me in the leg but okay on to the next oh <laughs> of your hive so that the gases are trapped inside the hive and cannot escape um, and then once you pull out the vaporizer you're supposed to leave the hive completely closed for at least five minutes I believe is what it is um, I usually vaporize when, my, when I'm done with all of my beekeeping for the day so I don't plan to open these hives back up but I will remove all of the paper towel that I have plugging up these entrances um, after about five minutes and see, it's already done. That is how fast it is.
and under one hour was able to do all 33 hives they are now all treated with their second round of oxalic acid so i'm really hoping that this works because as you guys know my mite loads are pretty high right now definitely not where i'd like them to be so yeah stay tuned to see how this oa works and i hope this video was very helpful for you and i also hope that you're having a great end of your beekeeping year so i'll see you guys soon